Okay, let's skip here. Hello, I am the Gator Gamer, host of the Anime Boomer podcast. I am making this video to speak directly to you, the fans of Anime Boomer podcast. Jesus Christ. Can we actually make it through this? I... Galactic sent ten dollars. God bless. God the goal. bless the goal. I agree. I don't know if there's a tune in with that or just just a salutation uh, and shout out to Galactic. Now we are thirteen percent of the way there. God bless the goal. Let's keep the streak alive at least until, like I said, uh, it's a shortened week on the kill stream, and uh, you'll see why later in the week. Um, but, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, this is Monday. So we're here now. We'll be here tomorrow. We'll be here Wednesday. Hopefully no delays on Tuesday and Wednesday show. Uh, but Thursday and Friday, there won't be a kill stream. So if we keep the streak alive, uh, that'll be 63 in a row. Uh, and then I'll be back, uh, on Monday. I have some things to take care of. And everyone. I can't even believe this is real, by the way, but it is who support the VTuber industry. First of all, I deeply apologize for causing concern to many people. Please allow me this time to address your concern. What the fuck is this? Groobman sent $5 on Rumble. God bless the Ralph. God bless the Ralph. I'll take that as well. Yes, I'll take that as well. What in the fuck is this and this is all because daddy jim called him out last night for being a freakazoid i mean you know i guess he thought it wouldn't happen i guess he thought jim would give him a pass I, honestly i did too to be real but uh no passes were given first let me apologize for a misunderstanding in regard to association with a particular vtuber i have no relationship friendship or otherwise crochet association with a particular VTuber. You mean Rabba? You mean Rabba, who you've been hanging around with for like two years now? And you were so eager to take a... No particular relationship. Are we going to have to pull up the video? I, I think we just might. Where is that fucking video? No relationship with Rabba? That's really what he's going with here? Jesus, I have so many... Let me see if I can find the video. No particular relationship with Rabba. Selling Kiki up the river. Oh, man, it's tough. Oh, man, it's tough. Wow, disavow. I heard he threw Rand under the bus, too, but I don't know if that's true or not. But... Hello. Well, hey there, Rabba. Hello. Hey there, Rabba. Yes, I know who you are. Yes, I know who you are. Who am I? The crocodile. Fat faggot. Crocodile. Oh, you, you're man. so close. <laughs> I fucking know who you are. You know, I'm bad with, I, I don't want to say usernames, okay? You know how I am. You, you can say mine. You can say mine. Okay. Okay. Uh, Gator, you're Gator. Crocodile man. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Aren't you glad you came to Offkai? I'm so happy that I'm here. Yeah, we can tell. Hit that like button. Awesome. Well, I'm, I'm glad you I'm glad you decided to come too. What, what's with the angry face? <laughs> what are you planning to do at this convention? I was going around and buying entirely too much merchandise. How old is Gator? Gator's 37 years old. Next year. Are you going around harassing people? No. Oh, Absolutely okay. not. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm just being. I'm just being a goose. Okay. No, I. No, I know you made a silly goose. I, I am. I'm even a silly goose. You know how it is. <laughs> Go ahead, Adol. A doll wolf sent one dollars on Rumble. This is the gayest response to drama accusations I've ever seen. I know. Also, Eric July was in Jim's chat last night. Coordinated behind the scenes. I know. Wake up, people. I've called it from the start. But, you know, a lot of people didn't want to hear. By the way, this has 200,000 views on my Twitter. There is going to be more oh, yeah, people up soon, you. though. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 
Well, I just came by because I wanted to. I told you I was gonna. Because you're a freak. Got it. I want Got to it. how proud I am of you. Me? And just like amazed at how much you've been able to grow in the past year. It's it's awesome. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> and if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have met Hexa either. So. Yes. Thanks yes. Hexa. So no relationship. But if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have met this other weirdo VTuber. But he has no relationship with this person at all. God, this is pathetic. And I look forward to a lot more streams and collabs in the future. Oh, yeah? Yes. No, I want to do more. I bet you don't now. Her, actually, I've been harassing her to do it, so. <laughs> Mary, Jane in chat. Mary Jane in chat says, buy some more toys, you fucking weeb trash. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Well, I have to take a picture yeah. with you. Oh, sure, okay. <laughs> So I can so I can brag so I can brag to Rand about it. Okay. <laughs> It'll be salty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is unreal. Noseberg thirty three sent five dollars on Rumble. I almost die of secondhand cringe every time I hear this conversation. Gator is pathetic. Dude, and he did it willingly. Like he was already getting trolled all around the convention by Godwinson and Perspicacity, so he decided to try to own the meme and let's. In the worst way possible. This isn't the only cringe video. The legal mindset video is arguably just as cringe, where he's like zooming up and down these cardboard cutouts of lollycon figures. Like, uh, I mean, this is more cringe, but the other one's right there next to it. Hexa is like. My understanding is like a collaborator with this VTuber, and he says he would have never met Hexa if it wasn't for this VTuber, the one he claims he has no special relationship with, by the way, and in the video that we just saw, and we'll go back to in a second. All right, thank you so much. All right, All thank right, you Kiki, so much. You. Yes, you too. Have a good time. You've got the, the world's greatest Sawa cosplayer about to say hi. I just noticed, yes. I yeah, anyway, you get the idea. Now let's go back to this. For the safety of myself and others, I chose to move on from support. I did not know the backstory nor history of this particular VTuber. Also, what is the, like, fake Japanese voice? Dude, just speak in English, like... It'd be like me coming out with a sombrero doing some, like... <laughs> This is just as cringe as the original video. Most of my exposure to this particular VTuber was through corroboration of other VTuber. Mm. I am a viewer of many VTuber, went to many meet and greet at Ofkai Expo that will not arrive. This is not indicative of the revel of support of any one particular VTuber. There is much misinformation regarding which VTuber I follow is number one. That has been and remain former rain prof of Niji Sanji Ian and what? in a future incarnation. I deeply regret this outcome and will be rethinking how I support VTuber in the future. <laughs> I regret the way this has negatively affected the what? VTuber you industry, drop a hard R? where VTuber not involved have been receiving hurtful messages. I deeply apologize Aww. to the VTuber and to everyone that supports them. We are taking this situation very seriously. Yes, very seriously. I can tell. It's a very serious situation. We will be implementing several new internal systems to ensure that this kind of situation does not occur in the future. To everyone who has and continues to support VTuber, I am oh, very sorry. Man. Oh, man, I'll be swamp party. Three cent, three dollars. Man, I can't believe I could die on the front lines and we went to war charging a mine wire <laughs> obstacle, blowing myself up on a landmine <laughs> just to protect people like Gator. Feels bad, man. <laughs> You could have died to protect this. Oh, man. Don't make me go into my greatest generation bit again. When they beam that bitch down onto the field. Oh, God. That situations were allowed to arise where our actions resulted in problems for you and your community. I feel so that he's falling on his be sword because he's catching a lot of heat from these other VTubers because they gained our focus uh, and other people's focus. That's what he's really, you know, running cover for. Nice. Once more, personally, and on behalf of our podcast, I apologize to you all for causing concern. As the Anime Boomers podcast, we will do everything we can to ensure that we create and maintain an environment where VTuber can succeed in their creative endeavors. Thank you. 
Then did he do a little Jap bow there at the end? What the fuck was that? Um, I don't know. Very strange. Very strange. And and then he gets into some stuff here. We'll skip to this. We don't need to hear this trash. Welcome to the Anime Boomers podcast. I'm the host, Gator, and I'm being sacrificed to the corn tonight. Helping me guide my way through the nine levels of hell is my Virgil... Cody, take it away, Cody. <laughs> yes, welcome everybody to the Anime Boomers podcast tonight. This mic sucks, by the way, the other guys. We are here for the trial of the Gator Gamer. Now, the Gator Gamer, you stand accused of uh, liking the pee-pee poo-poo, of uh, wanting to eat the poo-poo, and uh, loitering within public restrooms, waiting for... What is this guy talking on a payphone? Like, what the fuck? Quote, that good shit. How do you plead? I plead not Beardson. Uh, yeah, shit went down, and, uh, your ass kind of got, uh, wrapped. What is it? Well, it's Mike! In the of it. Some very ugly shit. By the way, your mic quality has gone to poop again. Speaking of has poop. It? Yeah. <laughs> it? Even Gator has to say something that's that bad. <laughs> How are we doing now? Or do I have to switch to the webcam? When was this live? This afternoon. Now, I don't know if he pre-recorded it or what. Uh, obviously, the uh, uh, intro, I think, was pre-recorded, but... Yeah, you're still probably... Gonna... It's it's still really bad. All right, you know what? I guess this mic has officially died. Time to buy a new one. I'm switching. One sec. Oh, God. All right. I'm going to give you a second. That's good. It's not crackly. It is a blue snowball that I oh, had for so many... Many years. The I, old standby, the blue snowball. I think it's. I think it might be time to put it out to pasture because I don't. Uh... Yep. Yep. Uh, a lot. A lot is. A lot has gone wrong in the world these last. Uh, these last week or so. I saw that one, man. So uh, my mic dying on stream is just kind of par for the course of where we're at now. So I'm on. Uh, I'm gonna have to coast on a shitty webcam mic today. You can't hear me, right? Everything is yes. uh, functional. Everything's, everything's uh, functional. It just the quality is just doo doo, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna have to. We've had, to we've had worse. We've had worse mic quality issues in the past, so we'll just we're just gonna go with it. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to endure, and then when the stream is over, uh, order a new mic. So uh, farewell, old soldier. Had your ass for God a long ass time. We don't no, care. In the last podcast, I had that thing. Jesus. Yes, it's about time. We don't care. We don't care. The, 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 the dust. Yeah. Anyway, you, it's not about me and my dead mic. It's about you. <laughs> You're on trial here. On on trial for uh, guilt of association of, of watching the wrong VTuber. Oh no. Yeah. So um, for those who don't know, for those who are outside of uh, live the chat replay was turned off for this video. I wonder why that was drama scene there is a vtuber who we will not name because it is just a very ugly situation and i think both gator and kiki is the name by the way i just want to keep that shit far away i just yeah um, i, I want to move on from from all of that. yeah it's, it's it's like look i bet okay, you so do a vtuber right and uh some things were revealed about this vtuber uh some very you mean i reveal those things okay thing things um I don't think anything re revealed really was a smoking gun because everything that was revealed is like leaks and everybody involved in the leaks are also seriously mentally ill. It's very much the Tony the Tiger, none of you are without sin kind of situation. Um, and this particular VTuber has a tragic backstory and uh, mental issues well, as a result I, I of the tragic get into, really uh, don't You don't want to get into that. You know, we still haven't gotten into that either. But yeah, psycho bitch. Well, I, I, do wanna, I do want to provide some... I'm not going to get into specifics. I'm, I'm being general, but I do want to provide some context for people. Um, so yeah, this went on, and then leaked chat logs came out of this VTuber saying some messed up stuff. Um, some people have um, outright... like. With some people, it's not, it, it hasn't, um, God, this is painful, gotten them to disavow, and some people has gotten them to disavow. And, uh, no, 
Look away, bitch. Leave. Eat a dick on your way out. You were, like, you had spoken to this VTuber publicly. And, uh, <laughs> she was 300. <laughs> she was 3,000 years old, Your Honor. Yeah, and any Thorpe cocksuckers, get out. Uh, I'm not giving them any content. I, I covered their nonsense at the top of the show, um, but why would I appear on air with a couple freaks like that? I've, I've given them too much charity uh, as it is, so now. Now you are... Uh, arguably even lower than the Gator Gamer, honestly, so. ...used of liking the degenerate shit that came out in these chat logs. Yeah, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous simply for the fact that it's like, number one, I didn't know. Any of the backstory? Number no, two. No, he didn't know. Um, since when has... Press one if you think he didn't know. Press two if you think he knew it all. And jacked off to it all. Is, since when have we just assumed that everything that some... Like, when you watch somebody or watch a streamer, when have we, like, started to say, like, oh, yeah, if you watch X streamer, then if something that comes out about them comes out later, like, you co-sign everything. Like, that's... It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous yeah. and... Yeah. And like in any other situation, it wouldn't be like that. But because it's me, because it's me I'm, I'm under the bus. <laughs> I'm sacrificed to the corn. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can fit on the bus. But uh, I think um, I think you need to get something on the record that uh, will help you out in the future. It won't completely help, but I think it will make your life um, a little easier if I can get yeah, you on I'm the gonna record. Need, I'm going to need every content creator to go ahead and tell me what their their favorite hentai tags are now so that i can know whether i need to 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 run away now <laughs> just go ahead just go ahead and send, i'm going to need all i'm going to need all of them Gator, this was on her streams that you undoubtedly saw are we going to have to go back and look through i, I guarantee he's commenting on some of these streams too i'm going to need i'm going to need jim i'm going to need josh i'm going to need uh, you cody you got to send me what your favorite hentai tags are so i can know I can know what I'm, I'm, I'm going to be dealing with in the future. This is just insane. Galactic sent $5 gay op gator didn't know someone's history. Right. Bullshit. Total bullshit. Agreed. <laughs> Not only um, did he know he was into it. I do think you should get something on the record that, that'll make your life a little easier. Uh, gator, would you say you've officially retired from the sector and drama sphere to do uh, weaving yes. and VTubers full time? Yes. I, I, yes. I did already officially retire from the sector, but this is me reiterating the fact that, yeah, no, I'm, I'm done with that shit. Oh, where's the lawsuit from Cover Court, by the way? I've been eagerly awaiting that lawsuit. A smaster 33 cent $1 on Some Rumble. Some jab shit. What the fuck is hentai? Some jab shit. You notice he doesn't talk about me anymore. He doesn't talk about... We put him on hush mouth. Goblinson, Perspicasty, me. We put him on hush mouth. And force this bitch into just full on degeneracy. Don't say shit. Keep my name out your mouth, bitch, because you see what happens when you don't. And you, there's a speech that uh, a British gentleman gave one time. You can never leave the sector anyway. But nothing good ever. ever nothing good ever comes from the sector. If you go up and down the list of sector people. There's way, way worse shit that a lot of them have actually done. That they've actually done. And I'm not going to get into specifics, but oh, yeah? people know people know where to find it. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done dealing with all of those people because mm. they bring absolutely nothing but, uh, but bad shit your way and vendettas that they have for a hundred years, even if... Gator, you you're the one with the vendetta. Had you just shut up talking about me? I had no reason to talk about you. I, I'm the one with the vendetta? You've been talking about me for two fucking years straight. Over two years straight. Almost every single day. And I'm not seeing any quote tweets anymore. I'm not seeing any, you know, underhanded references anymore. I'm not seeing nothing but you on your hands and knees crying like a fucking bitch. That's all I'm saying. You've, like, not mentioned them. It's just, it's stupid, it's gay, it's cringe. Yeah, yeah Keep I'm my out. name out I'm of your out. fucking mouth. I was out before, but I'm, I'm double That's out. That's the smartest fucking it, thing you've said. Now, he won't do it, by the way, because he's constitutionally incapable of doing such a thing. But keep my name out your fucking mouth. 
and keep other people's name out your fucking mouth. And none of this would have happened to you. Because I really don't, I would have never even thought to focus on this shit. Except you, being a cringe lord. It's it's all anime and VTubers from here on in. Is that what you're officially yes. saying? It's all it's all anime and VTubers from here on out. Okay, I think I think that's it's good to get you on the record. So of course people he can does. know. Like, he... Anonymous sent ten dollars. I'm done with the sector. Isn't that convenient? It's very convenient. Do we have a tune with this one? What made him quit the sector? Is this a video or a tune? I think this may be a video. It's very convenient. Yeah, I think it's a video. Hold on, I'll pull it up. What are you... S Stop, so I can pull it up! Hey. Okay. All right, now give me a second. <laughs> I was yelling at Power Chat, not you. Yeah, it's all very convenient. How he's done with the sector after Jim... Uh, Goblin, are you still in chat? Jim disavowed this nigga last night. He didn't see that one coming, did he? Because... It was just the easier call to throw Gator under the bus or uh, fucking tractor trailer or whatever the fuck he could fit underneath rather than actually, you know, call out Peppa Pito and all this and that. It's just easier to roll Gator underneath. Anonymous sent $3. Is he seriously going with the I'm a degenerate? You're all degenerates too. Defense? Basically. Silly fool, that's what furries and weirdo degens say. Yeah. Literal gutter trash glaring at normal people and judging us. That's basically his defense, yeah, seemingly. Go ahead. Daniel Larson Stan sent $3 on Rumble. Cody Bear. Who even is this guy talking with Gator? Certified pedophile. I can't even imagine being Gator's Gator. A being such low on the social stratus. I know more about that person. Freak. I'll just put it that way. Alleged pedophile, we'll say. Um, but he's got skeletons going. Very deep. Used to hang out with a certain crew. I'll just leave it there. Some folks I used to know. I'll just leave it there. What are you? Come on. Hey. Hey. We're done when I say we're done. Very well said. Very well said, Walter. Gator don't want any part of this. Whatever it is, it's all just gay nerd shit. From here on out. Wasn't that, who my Gator. personal Janny? Gator? Yeah, not this other guy. This other guy's a freak that I happen to know about and shouldn't even know about. But yeah, well, again, I won't get into it. But uh, certified freak. That's that's exactly. his. That's his. That's his bag now. Well, anyway, it was um, supposed to be that way from the get go, and for the most part, it was. But it's just like. This this is the problem. Like when it comes to like the commentary community or the sector. Uh oh, low the... watermark. Low watermark sent twenty dollars on Rumble. I like what you are doing here. Thank you. I am happy to support you. Can't wait to Riley and Mint get here. I'm ready for that too. And that was another reason I wasn't for sure the technical issue was going to clear up. And let's keep our fingers crossed that nothing happens to throw that off. Uh, and it was already going to be a shortened week as well. So I was like, no, please God. Um, and this is the exclusive their first appearance. Uh, since all that went down, and so thankfully we were blessed, blessed by the Lord, while the Lord has cursed Gator. It's like the same shit. It's like they're all sitting there coming up with like six degrees of Kevin Bacon to like try to tie you to <laughs> you the You know most what? I think that might be true. I, I, maybe that's giving him too much credit, Blitz League. But he says, Gator was a solid dude for a long time, but jealousy and his own zesty proclivities got in the way. Sad. Well, he was always jealous of me um, because, I mean... It's my show. Like, all the gifts that I have, he doesn't have. Like, charisma. And this is not even me pumping my own horn. The ability to interview somebody properly. Uh, being a persona. You know what I mean? Like, a thing. Uh, Gator doesn't have that ability because he just doesn't really have much of a personality outside of weeb shit. And so, um, 
over the years, you can see it in the broadcast and people who watch the show over the years, you can see him get more and more jealous, more and more thinking like he's responsible for this and that. Or, oh, I set up the collar bot and I did this and that and, and made the background, which the backgrounds are complete shit. I mean, look at the background now. He didn't make that one. Uh, and so you can see him get more and more jealous as the time went on. You know, he should have been grateful. <laughs> because he was an absolute leech and a loser the whole time. But it was a guy that I trusted foolishly, by the way, foolishly trusted. And, you know, those things happen. But, uh, you know, we're thinking he should have a bigger slice of what's going on here. And I did pay him way too much, as a matter of fact. Uh, but you could see over the years uh, him, him transformed – or him transforming into, you know, taking shots at me personally, trying to get over on me on air. And I let it go because I was like, whatever, you know, he's trying to, to use a wrestling term. I'm like, okay, he's trying to get over. That's fine. It doesn't bother me. But now I see it very clearly uh, for what it was. And he was also working with certain parties behind the scenes for months and months before he stabbed me in the back. That came out later on, but we won't go into that because I've dropped – uh, the beef with them, and I'm excited um, to to be heading in a new direction, hopefully, uh, on that. I already have been, so I'll, I'll leave that where it, where it stands. Uh, but he was a snake of the highest order, so. Fucked up shit imaginable. It's like, well, you know, so-and-so is friends and with people so -and -so who friends. know People who watch the show have heard me t talk th this story before. Uh, the post leaks, um, the leaks that came out later on about who he was feeding information to. He signed an affidavit in court to try to fuck me up, uh, full of lies, actually. And, you know, again, I've dropped the beef um, with, with that sector, so to speak, uh, just for the good of my own sanity and um, family life, et cetera. And so I won't, I won't go through the whole thing, but he was absolutely doing that and it's been proven. So friends with so-and-so who watched so-and-so who sent a super chat to so-and-so a year ago. And that makes you, that makes you a PDF file. Yeah. And it's like, like yeah, that, that's I, the net effect of like all the, yeah, that's what really stuff. turned him. I mean, he was already working behind my back, but it's when I, it's when I said, fuck you, Jim. And some people just can't handle that. They see this guy as like some kind of god you can never criticize, even if he's talking shit about you, even if he's going in on you, you can't say anything about it. And you know, would it have been smarter? Maybe not to, maybe. But I'm just not that type of guy. And I never will be, so. <laughs> Stuff and all the sector stuff is who can like do the six degrees of Kevin Bacon from like canceling you and ending your career, which you could yeah. never do to me, unfortunately for you. Yeah, I, as a as an outside observer, it's all very gay to me. Um, I this whole situation with this VTuber is incredibly tragic. It is not pleasant. Uh, I don't have a stance on this VTuber. Um, I don't have a connection to them. Um, I think the, the evidence is concerning, but I think it's not, I need a smoking gun if I'm going to rattle any sabers. And I would advise, I see some people beginning to rattle guns? sabers and I would advise against it because the situation this VTuber is in, um, makes them, maybe we uh, need some smoking guns more, I guess like you're going to need to convince people harder than usual to, to, Maybe, come down maybe on we them need and some I just, smoking guns. Would you like some smoking guns? Because you know I've I've held off on sharing some of this stuff. They didn't know they didn't know nothing, Shamu. That's right. Would you like smoking guns? Well, because I have some. Let me see here. Uh, let's see. I'm looking through these and I'll read them out. They're from uh, last year on VT, which is a board on 4chan. Um, diving through the archives, you see these same accusations of underage attention whoring on R9K again and again. Kiki was doing meetups and Discord discussions through R9K and Soch, uh, and then they have that archived, while underage using the name Bonk, and was dating a moderator for Cyber Live, and they have that archived as well. 
some literally who agency who was also underage at the time. And uh, these are screen caps. Uh, I started watching an underage Aussie one view, and she sounds a lot like Kiki. Kiki, is that you? Testing to see how quickly this gets taken down. Kiki Ki is an underage Australian e-girl. This is from last year. I don't know if they still are. Infamous in the R9K community for dating multiple older men and then subsequent, subsequently accusing them of rape. Now, this is the Kiki stuff that I haven't gotten into, that I've been teasing. Um, because, like, it is, you know, pr pretty heavy stuff, right? Um and I, w I wanted to do it right, but since they want to seem to jump around and, and not address, you know, the real issue, I guess I guess we'll just have to do it. I guess, you know, I guess just leave it up to me then, huh? So we'll show these caps, and you can, you can read them on your screen. Uh, Kiki is a Zoomer whore who sold her nudes when she was underage. Again, these are allegations. Um... And once again, I'll repeat that, uh, infamous for in the R9K community for dating multiple older men and then subsequently accusing them of rape. Seems like she was found out because she didn't rename, rename her assets from her old persona, and the names were the same. And I'll copy this image link as well. And so basically they found the file name and found out it was the same person. Uh, and let me uh, read this. Uh, let me see here. Find this time loop is boring, so here are the proofs. A bit lol couch here, but since people brought it up, yeah, indeed, Kiki is actually a known R9K slash SOS underage girl and drug addict. Again, these are allegations not made by me. It's been months now that it was found out. This is from 2022. She was dumb enough to have her old name and the file name of some of her stream element emotes, but also posted the same rabbit, same city, same interest, same everything. And then they linked to some of those. She was even wearing a, excuse me, she was even dating a CLG, which I guess is a some board on 4chan, uh, mod while doing her usual all-in GFE. And GFE stands for girlfriend experience, by the way. I don't even know how that would work with a fucking cartoon, but uh, whatever. Uh, her only redeemable quality was sending that pedo Gunji in prison. So she put somebody in jail, uh, allegedly, as well. She's literally the opposite of what she acts like, genuinely the fakest of all around here. Not only the amount of evidence is huge, but people who knew her before recognize her voice every time. You can regularly see people realize and mention the guy she sent to prison with false charges, they say, but he's better there. Again, I don't know if the charges are, are false or not, but she sent some guy to prison. Uh, I know Discord drama, etc., but people who were around R9K at the time know it much more, know it got much more serious than this. People are in prison all because of her. And again, she used the same uh, emote, and I guess since nobody else is going to bring it up, I've been saving this and just debating whether I should do it, but she used this emote and left the same name on it, so they were able to pin it down uh, as the same person. And um, let me see, this pulled up. I'm trying to, there's a lot of stuff here. And there's almost zero chance that Gator didn't know any of this. I don't know how many people in chat has seen this stuff yet. Um, but Gun, uh, let's see, uh, Gunji and Viral. The Gunji is the one she sent to jail. Um, there's a lot of stuff here. And then there's, uh, there's also a video. Um, let me see. Uh, Kiki was known in R9K Discord circles as Nikki Bunkle Lolly Pilled. I'm not proud of using those a bit back then, but if you have some time, you can go there and ask for her. She dated several people there and sent them nudes when she was under 15, blackmailed the guys into it afterwards. Again, these are allegations from a post. I'm not saying these are what people are saying, not me. Many people are saying even pretending to be pregnant for money or drugs. Got a few guys jailed, good riddance to that creep Gunji, but still. She was drunken on drugs all the time while spending her time in the voice in their voice chats. She was into animal abuse and eventually left R9K for Soak to Soak or Sosh, however you say that, to meet up and continue. Then she started over as Kiki in VTube, BT. 
She dated Virial, CyberLive's mod, before debut to get benefits from it. Instant collaboration with Pippa, Lumi in the first weeks. Tech help with streaming, special, special access to an artist. Uh, let's see. Worked for CL, etc. while doing hardcore GFE, which implies hardcore hooking. I don't know. You know, I only know one meaning for that. But uh, until he dumped her for being insane, obviously pandering to the most stereotypical 4chan, poltard, new fags, says anything, says anything they want to hear. Uh, burn Discord tranny, paint Nazi symbols into the stream, proudly posting a screenshot of herself being banned for 4chan from, from 4chan for racism. I don't care, obviously, but it was obviously, personally, but it was obviously just to pander one of countless examples. And then they link something else. Uh, she's a school dropout, sociopath, pathological liar, too. Her parents are her slaves. She's not the brightest sometimes. She even had some stream element emotes named after her Discord name for a while, which we talked about. Meanwhile, her fans are in the strongest denial I've ever saw and are honestly the worst fan base of VT. So that's a little background on Kiki there that they didn't want to go into. Now, why didn't they want to go into that? Hmm. Interesting. I wonder why not. Uh, after all that, she DFE'd and rebranded into, into Kiki. Um, and then there's another screenshot here. <clears throat> Let me see if I can read this. Um, let's see. Whether it's the same schizo before or it's the same mod, I have no idea. It is, by the way. So she played a lot of people. Uh, Kiki was an attention whore minor groomed by an R9K shit poster that literally everyone on the board hated. She realized she was being groomed, outed him, and got him pinned for statutory rape. His friends ever since then have made it their mission to make her look far worse than she is. Well, I don't think that's too tough. Uh, so, and then, let's see. Uh, the other Kiki... The other leak is Kiki attempting to go the Discord of Bentani, a larger VTuber who did the whole advertising and pandering to VT thing long before she did. Uh, da, 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 some of this gets into the weeds. The most notable part of this Kiki going full scorched earth on the leaks, copy striking, archives. They were like knocking these archives down live while I was watching it, by the way. Now, of course, it didn't work, but. And they still have all the posts. But there's this video here. This shit gets, uh, like, some of this stuff I don't even want to pull up on stream because it's, like, sick. And um, I'd just rather not have it associated, like, with my brand name <laughs> or my face. And it's actually, like, uh, like really sick shit. And she was underage. Uh, and, and basically, you know, not defending anybody here, but uh, seemingly uh, entrapping people uh, and uh, blackmailing them with that entrapment. Now, let me see if I can find... Now, here's a video. Let's see, copy image. This is a video that somebody, I guess, she had... Um, she had entrapped... Uh, left for her. And again, like, I don't even want this shit on my screen. Hello, stupid, autistic, retard, whore, cunt, bitch. Here I am to say that you are a stupid, autistic, whore, retard, cunt, bitch. And you fucked with my head. By the way, this is the kiki stuff I've been talking about for three or four shows. We just haven't went into. It's dark, man. Like, I, you know. For the last year. You deserve to get hurt. You deserve to suffer. VTuber man says the Jannies actively sweep up any post about you or Gator. Gator refused to disavow this. Yes, he did. You deserve to be in pain. You deserve to want to kill yourself. Because do you know what you do? You hurt other people. All you do is hurt and exploit and fuck people to fuel your own goddamn Now, mind. when this first came out, they thought, oh, this guy's crazy. And he does, you know, sound a bit off kilter. But, like, 
is being looked at in a new light these days. Also, hit like. Can we hit the goal? Powerchat.live slash the Ralph Retour. Killstream.live slash tip. Dollar sign Sunset Squad on Cash App and Rumble Rants. Narcissistic supply. You dumb fucking e whore bitch! He sounds crazy. Well, yeah, I mean. Uh... Yeah, but I don't know if that's true, VTuber man. Um, if that's the one that I'm thinking about. Oh, wait, this might actually be a new one. Oh, wow. Did they really? Well, I'll be damned. Let me, let me listen to it first. Does she say anything on this? There's no sound on that, though. How do we know that's her dogs? Jesus Christ. Let me look. Are we sure that's her? Yeah, there was another doc that I know wasn't her, but um, this one uh, looks more legitimate. Yeah, this one looks real, actually. Because there was an older woman like they were trying to throw out last week as her, and I was like, no, nah, I don't think so. You hear that, bitch? I'm going to leak everything to everyone you know. And to everyone you don't know, because you are a fucking cunt. You hear that, cunt? Do you hear that? Do you? Do you? Oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. The words, the words of someone who used to be just desperate to want to be your sweet baby angel boy. And you treated him like shit, you piece of shit fucking whore. How many lies? How many lies? How many lies did you fucking say to me, you dumb cunt? I knew everything. I knew everything the entire fucking time. And I just wanted to see how much would you lie to me? And my heart was so pure. My heart right, was right. so golden. My heart was so innocent. And you lied. 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 Now, wait a minute. Lied! And lied! And lied! And you lied to me! You lied to me! You bitch! Over and over and over and over and over again! The fuck do you expect out of life? You dumb fuck e whore. You dumb fuck piece of shit, trash, garbage, bitch! I gave you so much. I used to never be this kind of person. I was a person who was a sweet baby angel. I've been teasing playing this for like a week, by the way, but person who I could uh take the pain but you oh no you you are one special case of retard how the fuck do you treat me the way you did you know what's gonna happen to you you're gonna be alone you're gonna be alone you're gonna be alone you are going to be a lonely bitch because that's what you deserve you deserve to be alone forever now is this video of her i, I don't know if i want to show yourself. it because it it may be her underage fuck now she's not know. naked or anything in the video but i or we have to tread carefully here bitch you raped me you raped my brain you raped my heart you raped my soul fuck over many months you raped me 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 
you raped me. I exposed myself to you and you raped me. And what you're going to get is what you fucking deserve! Stupid Eeyore bitch! Alright. Gator's private cries. Well, again, and apparently she has been doxxed, but like this video, um, I don't know the age. And so I don't really want to pull it up. But, um, yeah, that looks like a dox there. Um, let's see. Then there's some more stuff. Jesus Christ. Ran completely misreading the situation as always. What a dumb fag. Now, what Jim's doing is trying to protect the bigger VTubers by throwing this psycho under the bus. Although, I would say Pippa's a psycho as well, but... And it's much easier to feed Gator to the mob and, uh, you know, move on. And this is a quote from Kiki, allegedly. And she says that uh, she has had issues with being attracted to children because of it, too. It's all extremely fucked up. I'm not anymore. I help myself out of it, obviously. Obviously. Oh, man, I'm his swamp party said $10. Holy shit. This weed is making me realize how deep the rabbit hole goes with these VTubers. Fuck Jim for shilling these stupid freaks. That in is an up for. Hey, Chris. Oh, man. A Smaster 33 sent $1 on Rumble. This guy's gay. Imagine getting raped by an autistic Australian cartoon pedophile. By the way, I know who you are, Cameron Snark. You're a faggot. It's not a very good... You didn't do very good hiding your identity. Former Dick Show fan, completely obsessed with Dick Nasher Chanel. You could have at least changed it up a little bit more than that. Oh, God. There's not too much I don't know. There's not too much, I don't know. Yep, called the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. I don't see any denials either. Yeah, chat really did love that one. I love that one too, one man. Well, he didn't even try to change it up. It's like, okay, come on, man. Like, who are you trying to fool? Who are you really trying to fool here? It won't be me. Uh, and there's some other, I think there's another message. Um, but, okay, so this is allegedly from Kiki as well. Uh, let's see. He got real quiet after that. What happened? So this is uh, allegedly her testimony to the allegations from earlier. And it says, she allegedly says, so I went around the internet for many years legitimately asking to be groomed and wanting to be groomed. Like, and then she says she's 15. She says she's 14. Nothing ever came out of it, but it's all really stupid. And that's not stupid. It's fucking criminal and insane. Criminally insane, actually. I'm very ashamed of my age. I feel disgusting and undesirable. It is a lot easier to play that role. Because if I'm young and cute and pedo bait, then people will like me. People will treat me better. Well, doesn't that just say it all? We've been calling this pedo bait for what? Week? Two weeks now? However long the fuck this has been going on? So apparently she may not have even been underage. She was just playing a role as underage to get more fans, get more followers. Now, what kind of community... Would that work in, unless it was a pedo community? You know, most people would be like, uh, no, uh, go away, get away from me, click, X, block, go away. That's what most people would do. But if you're in a community filled with people who would enjoy that type of uh, 
relationship. And and these are the the screenshots. These are the the things she said that Gator and Cody uh, were afraid to put on the screen and tried to act like they didn't know anything about. Now, I'm pressing X to doubt that they didn't know anything about it. You can weigh in uh, with your own X's if you'd like. But because um, it's all out there and they spend all day on these on these boards. I don't like uh, this stuff came out after. And of course, I see it after and, you know, I'll, I'll bring it to the audience. But um, like I had no knowledge. Uh, and this does appear to be her docs, although it doesn't she doesn't say anything. In the video, it happens to look a little bit like her avatar, though, as well. But there's no sound. Let me see. Is the tab muted? No, there's just no sound on the video. But again, I, I won't pull that up. Did Rand know about this? Well, you want to you want to know what a genius Rand is? Wow, this is unbelievable. So Rand completely undercuts every argument we've heard Gator made so far. Because he is a strategic genius. Hey, so you're doing drama week? Because my show's going to be on Oh, Tuesday. I can't help it, Pond. Like, the, world, that... like the, the world fucking exploded again on my fucking midweek weekend, and we we eaten. Grab yourself a bucket, because we eaten. <laughs> this, this is... I ain't eating. What is it like? I'm sick to my stomach, literally. Can't tell you, because you're the Spurg and, like, tell everyone early. <laughs> You fucking mm. blabbermouth! Well, have you I may have blabbed clips yet, Shamu. Like he totally misreads the situation. But a little bit about about Josh in particular, because uh, if Jimbo if Jimbo is hitting out on Josh on Sunday, which he did not do. Well, okay. from what I've heard, I didn't watch the stream, but uh, I heard he hit out on Gator and a couple other people, but not Josh, because that would be like stupid for him. But his little heads up, Josh. But you already know this. Nigga, you are cooked. You are so fucking cooked, nigga. Really? Actually, it seems like Gator was the one that was cooked. <laughs> Jimbo's the catalyst. The The anime community may have been uh, um, ignoring or just completely unaware due to how irrelevant you've become. Um, or, or well, look, you know, I have my problems with Josh, and I don't think they'll end anytime soon. But to call Josh irrelevant, I mean, it's just not true. <laughs> all the all the shit you've been doing. Once Jimbo puts you in in his sights, well, he better. I'm gonna it's be enjoying it. Overdue. I'm gonna it's be enjoying long, long overdue, years overdue. Yes. You you fat little Eastern European tourist, your time has come. Well, that didn't happen, but he went on. What's up, Dingo? Gator actually met all all the the VTubers. Listen to this. Gator actually met all all the the VTubers in person at Offkai, like at private meetings. He met all the Phase Connect girls. Kiki is a friend of his from over a year ago. You should have known that from like listening to my original clip. Kiki actually passed on a thing. <laughs> Rand, you might want to stop now, buddy. Oh, God. Rand, cease and desist. Rand, don't say what you're about to say. Oh, no. <laughs> she asked Gator to tell me to please mention her as little as possible. Sorry. Too bad. Um, in, in these things, because... Because, Josh, because she, because she's just a, 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 like a regular girl just doing her stream thing. No, she's not a regular girl just doing her stream thing. We've proven that. She already knows that you've been trying to target her. She was... No, she, no that's not what happened. Josh wasn't trying to target anybody. I was doing the targeting. And then Josh picked it up along with any other right-thinking person because, I mean, it's all out there for you. 
she was asking Gator, you know, like Gator, who she's like disgusted by, and doesn't want to talk to, and has never had a relationship, uh, yes, like any sort of like you know that, social that's relation. Exactly what he's doing. So Rand just out that they were trying to sweep this behind the scenes. Yes, that's what he's doing in this clip. Relationship with in the past, which is your whole thing, which you're still you can barely hear me compared to the video. Well, this son of a bitch is loud. I'll turn myself up some, but I'll turn him down some too. Sticking by to this point. Kiki was asking him and other people who she knows that should be a little bit to better. like uh, to please just like just sort of let her not be mentioned in most stuff. Once again, sorry, Kiki, but you know it is what it is. Because Ooh. she is scared of you. Like Kirsch isn't scared of you. Like Pippa isn't scared of you. Kiki, who is like just it's just, just a nice young lady who lives somewhere in Brisbane. Just nice young lady. That's not the evidence we've been presented with. Trying to start out her her little thing. Doing her little thing. She's not disgusted by Gator. She's not... She was, clearly. Like, you know, literally hooing Rand. She's scared of you. Now, I don't know whether that makes you feel good or bad. Good, I hope. Josh. She's scared Why he docks her city? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. You? you you have, Josh, possibly for the first time in your life, provoked a visceral reaction in a woman. And that reaction, Josh. Visceral, but okay. Was terror. She is scared of you. She actually wants to, like, just sort of wait till this whole thing blows over. It ain't blowing over. She, she, wants, she wants you to go away or find some other target. She wants you to leave her alone, Josh. Don't you find that? Josh ain't the one who started all this. I am. And Goblinson and Perspicacity really first. Ironic. Don't you feel silly? Don't you feel stupid? Don't you feel a little ashamed? That No, why would he? She's a fucking freak. I mean, you saw the messages I just read out, did you not? Like The whole thing here? Was it like you're trying to say like, huh, look at Ego reject guy? And the way that worked out was not only did Ego no guy, but she wants to bury her head under a pillow until you go away. Until you go away, Josh. Have I spelled it out clearly enough? Is everyone picking up what I'm putting down? You're an idiot! Yeah, we got it! Uh, yeah, it makes sense to yes. me. Yeah, it makes <laughs> well, absolutely. Well, there's threads like, you know, 50, 100 pages deep on this bitch, so, like, uh, didn't work. Now that we've already own zoned, uh, Josh, let's let's let him squirm. Own zoned inside the crab trap as he tries to justify his way out of this. What does he have to justify? It's fucking embarrassing. Okay, and then there's one more from Rand before we go back to Gator, and then we do our interview. Josh Moon. His fucking voice is so punchable. I know, right? And the funny thing is, is Josh Moon, who like, if anyone has grounds for like being banned off the internet and locked up. It would be Josh Moon for for propagating terrorist uh, terrorism materials, and uh, and doxing people and uh, having impact and like destroying lives. And a nigger faggot in general. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Like Josh, you you I are was... actually responsible for like life ruination. Like uh, you, it was your site that like contributed to uh, to Dingo getting fired the first time uh, when he had a young family and was low on funds. And then you were more than happy to host uh, the fake allegations that PPP made uh, the second time around. Um, and I noticed you don't mention any of the fake allegations against me, but whatever. Okay. Trying to get him fired from another job when he, once again, with his young family, just moving to a new house. Was the second time, Little Debbie's? Yeah. Uh, no, the second, well, the first time was Little Debbie's. No, it wasn't Little Debbie's. It was, what was it? It was Little Debbie, actually. But what do we call it? The crispy, I forget. Cream cake empire. I forgot what we called it now, but I don't know what the second time was. Okay, but it, I, I wasn't but the, that the second. So, okay. The second time it didn't work, but not through lack of trying. Good. 
And so, like, look, yeah, any sort of, like, holier-than-thou sort of... Go ahead. Anonymous sent $5 now that Daddy Jim has greenlit Gator. Do you think Rand will stay loyal? I bet Gator has shared a ton of sick degenerate secrets with his best boy, Rand. Well, we'll see. You know, Rand's not the brightest. So, yeah, Jim did greenlight him last night, which was the easy move. And that's why I, I didn't necessarily expect it, but he almost had to do it. And I know he wouldn't green like Josh. I mean, that would be psychotic um, in his position. So, like fucking morality shit that Joshua pulls out of his ass. Um, like he, he goes for the whole thing. Like, well, actually, I'm I'm a crusader against pedophilia because that's basically like the only moral torch she can pick up at this point. The only thing is that like uh, Kiwi Farms does not actually have a great track record of like tasty cake emperor. <laughs> that's right, Dingo. And by the way, I don't know if that's true about the, the stuff posted about you on there. That would not surprise me. Um, of course, you know, I have my own long-running issues uh, with Kiwi Farms. But it, this is more about just Rand making just the absolute dumbest strategic prediction. Getting pedophiles in trouble. I think they got a couple. But so what? There are other outfits out there that have, uh, that, that have stung dozens of them. What do they call that when they choose people to do things they accuse people of? Rejection? Yes. I think this guy's yeah. a pedo. Now, jo well, if he is, though, it's all mental because, like, Joshua Moon's genitalia does not function. Taste. Joshua Moon is not only a virgin, but he has erectile dysfunction. And how do we know this? We know this because How do you do it? he thought it was a great idea to admit it to the sort of slime balls that he has propagated in his horrible life ruination doxing site. If my, di if my dick didn't work, I wouldn't tell anybody. Yeah, I'd keep that to myself. Mm. Also, it's quite uh, possible. It's quite voice like that. Well, though, those are also things that have come out on the kill stream, but whatever. Don't let that stop you, Ryan. In fact, What's like, he's a. Well. So I was just reminded. It sounds like I was his reminded, balls I was reminded of something, and thank you, Shadow Broker, for reminding me. <laughs> it was a point that I meant to hit on, but I forgot because I just can't hold all these limes. Chris Chan is. Josh he tries is to make he, his whole he, he, his attempt at moral justification as to why he runs a life ruination site that targets up, political dissidents. Rand doesn't want to give me the credit. Yeah, no, common theme for him. Uh, much to his denials that it does, but it really does. It, his website literally only exists to target political dissonance. His whole thing is like, oh, no, no, I'm doing anti-pedo shit. Joshua, if you had not rendered financial support to Chris Chan, because you were farming him for low cow status, if you had not financially supported him, he would have been put in a home and removed from his mother and he would not have violently raped his elderly senile mother. Joshua That's Connor correct. Moon, you are, you specifically, because it was your choice and no one else's and many people had told you to stop. Mm -hmm. Joshua Connor Moon. He changed his name around, but okay. Chris Chan would not have raped his mother if you had not financially supported him. Yes. Do these talking boys sound familiar, or...? By the way, you can Chris still Chan, find out... Chris right? Chan would have been... In fact, he would have been... You're actually responsible for his imprisonment and his vilification, too. Because if you had not kept giving him money, he would have been placed in a halfway house where he would have received the state intervention and support he needed that may have actually put him on the track to being being able to be independent or at least That's be able to find like some sort that. of meaningful work. You, everything you mm -hmm. did, everything you did, fucked everything up, Josh. He fucked his mum. He continued to live in squalor. He went to prison. He learnt no valuable skills. He was not put under well, the care of responsible caretakers, Josh. 
You giving him money denied him access to responsible caretakers who may have actually been able to make a real meaningful improvement in his life, unlike where you were jerking yourself off about saying, oh, the money I give him, like, he might actually be able to become a better person. No! What would have made him a better person? What is this rant? I don't even know. And look, I've never understood the Chris Chan thing. Um, I had an inside source on something the other day, and they're like, are you the one who filmed the Chris Chan thing? And I said, yeah. That was kind of just, like, a joke. <laughs> I actually don't give a fuck about Chris Chan, and that kind of just, like, happened. Person was if he was made, if he was put under the care of the state. Under responsible caretakers. Let's just put this very fucking clear, Josh. You are not a responsible caretaker. And your open Wait. checks to him just put him in a position where he continued to fester and linger and ultimately fuck his mother, Josh! Josh! You motherfucker! Don't ever get on your moral high horse again. I'm sure this will dissuade him. Well said. That's not the only person that Josh Moon has helped. He has helped Ethan Ralph spread around his revenge born. Oh my god. It always comes it's Ralph on the brain. Night Night's review showed up and to just say, Josh Moon should be dragged into the nearest active volcano. Yes! <laughs> Based. Based. Fuck off! Oh, you fucking shut up! Right? God, God fucking damn it. I'm, fucking, I'm so tired it. of this. I'm so fucking tired of this coffin and Andy and Lele fucking shit. Off! Off! Off my timeline! <laughs> Jesus Christ. My favorite one is the one with you and me in it. Mm. All right, Josh. Clip that one and play it on the next man on the internet, because uh, you've only yeah. got you've only got a limited time before Daddy Internet shows up on Sunday. Oh, by the way, what was he Anonymous thinking? Anonymous sent three dollars. I heard that slut who's famous for saying the N word let Ali Jamal hit at the FPAC VIP party. I don't know if that's true, but a smaster thirty three sent one dollars on Rumble. Ralph Man, good. Ralph, man, good, and just look who I'm up against. Like, uh... <laughs> so that's not the highest of bars, uh, to be honest. But uh... he actually thought Jim was going to go in on Josh. Well, that's not what happened. Got team, like, yeah, no, there's obviously, there's no movie on Sunday, this Sunday. You know what's happening. It's Jimbo Day. Yes. He's so far up Jim's ass. Now, one one does not know when or if when the Jimbo shall strike, but the Jimbo has announced his intention to strike, and, uh... Well, I didn't, I didn't have a... To strike Gator, you moron! Vintage Rand Enjoyer sent $3. Who was it that had the Rand impression? Said the secret was to play an Australian, but holding back a giggle like you have a gay secret. I think that was I think that was uh, Ear Juice who said that actually. He was so excited for his daddy to save him. By the way, there were no signals that he was going to go after Josh whatsoever. And just obviously, Rand doesn't have a political science degree. But when you talk about coalition building, you talk about um, you know bad enemies uh, to pick. Now, if I was to go after Josh, Moon, I mean, you know, we already have our history. Uh, Jim going after Josh Moon is like the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life, and I have no idea why he thought that would happen. A couple of people say, like, Brad, you'll be covering Jimbo, right? And I say, uh, to, to which I reply, like, why do people even ask me at this point? Of course we'll be covering the Jimbo. There is literally no... The Jimbo. ...point ever swimming upstream. The last time... The last time... Like... <laughs> no shade on Sawa, by the way. But poor old Sawa and Kiki... ...did a collab... On the Sawa is the one that Gator talked about meeting through Kiki, by the way. Keep that in mind. This all ties together. At the same time that Jimbo was streaming? They had like 40... Was he? See, I didn't see it. He said he was quiet as fuck when Jim went in on Kiki. I bet he was. Viewers. And they finished early. 
Now, no shade. It's like trying to stream no, on no shade. TV I'm not, when I'm not, fucking yeah. gone. It, well, I mean, I exactly, I experienced the exact same thing. Like, I, like, nobody fucking watches me on Goyam TV because I stream at the same fucking time that HT does. But I, I acknowledge that. But and that's fine. Mm. That's fine. Yeah. But yeah, like, uh, there's no point swimming up river. There's no fucking point swimming up river. When Jimbo speaks, we listen. So of course I'll be fucking stream sniping Jimbo. And I mean, as I said, like the, the combined forces of Kiki and Sawa together, were, they didn't crack 50 viewers because they were trying to stream at the same time Jimbo was streaming. Like, just don't fucking do it. It's not worth it. it, it it's not worth it. So there you have Rand's expert analysis. We'll get the uh, hangout ready. I think we're going to do a live IQ test. Where was the IQ test that I took that one time? I had to pay money for that one, though. Let's find a free one. Let's see here. Uh, I'll go ahead and start up the Hangout. Then we'll do a little bit more uh, gator spotting. We are 44% of the way there on the go, a little bit higher now. A Smaster 33 cent $1 on Rumble. Isn't Rand like in his 40s? Why is he talking about another grown man like that? I don't know. Plus has a gook lover. Not very Nazi of you, Australian pedophile faggot. Yeah, and he took down all the Nazi stuff off his stream because it's illegal in Australia now, and so... He had to do that, so... <laughs> He used to have some anime girl waving a Nazi flag or some shit. Uh, no longer the case. No longer the case. Um, now, I'm not saying it should be illegal, but uh, it is. Is he admitting that all the pedo fans watch Jim? I don't know. I, I, I don't know what he thought was going to happen. Well, I mean, I do know because he said it. Like, that Jim was going to go in on Josh Moon. Like, what on earth would lead him to believe that? When the lowest hanging fruit is right here, and it's much easier to roll Gator under the bus. It's much easier to roll Freaky Kiki right under the bus, given what I showed you uh, earlier tonight. I don't know if he even went through any, any of that last night, but um, I did. I think it's not worth it unless they start doing something. Uh, like what came out was concerning and uncomfortable and gross. Yeah, and we went through it all. Very great. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!